God's plan has been pretty fortunate for Drake. Aubrey Graham already has a $100 million Toronto mansion, but he also flies in style with his own private plane that he calls Air Drake. Worth at least $185 million, Drake's wings were actually a gift from the Canadian airline company Cargo Jet, who thought that the rapper flying it around the world would be a golden opportunity for some fresh publicity. Talk about job perks. The plane comes tricked out with plush seating, gold finishes, and a custom ovo paint job by a Louis Vuitton designer. Here's a look inside the rapper's mansion in the sky. Drake's net worth is looking pretty impressive. As of 2020, the rapper and former actor is worth about $150 million. Between the years 2018 and 2019, his net worth grew by 50%, and it's been climbing higher and higher ever since. With money like that, it's no wonder Drizzy likes to travel the world in luxury. But the private plane he received as a gift has more to do with his celebrity status than how much money he has in the bank. When the Canadian company Cargo Jet approached Drake about a promo deal that included his own private plane, he jumped at the chance to get a free jet and support a company from his home country. So what was the deal? Drake would get a customized Boeing 767 completely free, but he'd have to take tons of pictures of himself and his celebrity friends enjoying the luxurious private jet lifestyle and share them with his millions of followers across social media. That's hard. Since Drake's Instagram and Twitter feeds are full of pictures of him partying it up in the plane, it seems like the deal is working out just fine so far. The model cargo jet supplied to the rapper is actually a 23-year-old cargo plane, so it's not exactly brand spanking new. The 767 is 180 feet long, has a 156 foot long wingspan, and is about 52 feet high. Cargo Jet spent between 80 million and 100 million on customizations for the plane to get it ready for the wrapper. The plane is estimated to have cost between 185 and 220 million dollars with those customizations included. Drake first got the plane in April 2019 and was quick to show us all the custom paint job it was getting. The exterior is painted with Air Drake and his Ovo Owl which stands for October's very own. That's the name of the umbrella company that includes his clothing line, record label, and even his own radio station. The plane's tail has the image of hands clasped in prayer painted on it, since Drake has nothing but respect for God and his plan. And the entire paint job is a serene baby blue. Even the person Drake got to do the paint job is impressive, as he enlisted the help of Louis Vuitton men's creative director, Virgil Abloh. Abloh's name can even be seen implemented into the paint job, like a very exclusive signature. If you think the outside of the plane is impressive, just wait until you get the official tour. The Boeing 767 is large enough for more than 200 passengers, but Drake has about 30 seats in the plane. There are plenty of mirrors, gleaming woodwork, gold-hued accents, and tons of comfortable leather seating. The plane is like a hotel room in the sky, a luxury hotel that very few can afford. It features a bedroom with a king-sized bed, not one, but two living rooms, a classy business lounge, and a bathroom. There's also a flat-screen TV and plenty of tables for eating while in the air. Drake has already taken to the loudspeaker as his own flight attendant and praised his skilled captain as he's been popping bottles of the finest champagne. We wouldn't be surprised if this includes his very own champagne brand, Mod Selection, which costs as much as $550 a bottle. But his own champagne brand was kind of a given for someone who goes by the nickname Champagne Poppy. Drake has boasted about how he doesn't have to share the jet with anyone else ever. There are no timeshares, no rentals, and he can take off whenever he likes. All he has to do is make sure his flight crew is ready to go, but you could rent another Boeing 767 to charter a flight if you've got the cash. The charter cost is usually upwards of $18,000 per hour, so Drizzy's definitely saving some money using his free private plane instead of chartering flights all over the world. But from what we know about the rapper, it was probably only a matter of time before he invested in his very own private jet anyway. So how has Drake been putting his new plane to good use? The possibilities are endless. He might have started from the bottom, but the rapper has been flying high on some of the most luxurious vacations. Air Drake's first flight was to Turks and Caicos for an exclusive getaway, but the hard-to-miss plane has been spotted all around the world since then. Last year, Drake took off to the Bahamas with a bunch of friends, and his plane was spotted looking huge on the tarmac next to a much smaller private plane. More recently, it was spotted setting off to Barbados with Drake and friends on board. This was 
back in July despite quarantine rules and Drake got a little criticism for partying it up at private events and taking his friend for a private yacht ride. There he was spotted enjoying the cool blue water but also filming something, maybe even a brand new music video? But perhaps the most epic thing Drake has done so far with his new jet has to do with his favorite sports team, the Toronto Raptors. In 2013, the hip-hop star was named the Raptors Global Ambassador, with his goal to build so much hype for the team that tickets would be nearly impossible to get for the average person. Well, the plans have worked, especially after the Raptors won the NBA championship in 2019 and Drake's We The North campaign really took off. Afterwards, Drake partied it up at the parade with a bunch of the athletes, but the party was also going on up in the sky. Sky. Air Drake was spotted doing a victory lap over the city and getting lots of attention while it let everyone know that Drake was joining his favorite athletes for an epic celebration in his hometown. Following their victory against the Warriors, Drizzy even lent the private plane to some members of the team, getting his captain to fly them home after the festivities. Wouldn't we all be so lucky to have a friend like Drake? In 2017, the partnership between Drake and the team grew even more, and together they donated $3 million to Toronto and Canadian basketball. Drake has helped out other teams as well. He lent the jet to the Sacramento Kings in September of 2019 so they could fly to India for a preseason game. In 2019, Drake was named number three on the Forbes highest paid acts in hip hop, raking in an amazing $75 million that year. He was also the youngest to make it that high on the list at only 32. A young, successful hip hop act is bound to be into some partying, and he's shown off some pictures and videos of Air Drake and all the party jet action. His good friend DJ Academics has also shown off the the rapper's sky-high style with exclusive videos of the party plane in action. But partying aside, Drake's jet also has a practical use. The rapper might have to take a break from touring in 2020, but usually he's always on the road making about $2 million per night. The jet helps him get from place to place quicker and easier, and he's able to have some fun with friends while he's on his way. If only long-distance travel was always this comfortable. In fact, we wouldn't be surprised if Drake takes off for a quick party in the sky just because he's bored. Drake is trying to put his jet to good use for the little people though. In April, he announced he would be giving away a flight with him on his private plane as part of the all-in challenge for pandemic relief. The news quickly got a lot of attention from interested people who would love to get an exclusive luxury experience with their favorite rapper. Unfortunately, it's not all love for Aubrey Graham and his huge airplane. A lot of people are worried about climate change. The airplane leaves a huge carbon footprint that's actually quite a bit larger than other celebrities' private jets because the Boeing 767 is a huge aircraft meant for cargo or commercial passengers. If it's just jetting around with Drake and a few friends, is the ultra-luxury travel even worth it when you consider the greenhouse gases? Feel free to let us know what you think in the comments down below. Even if Air Drake has to stay grounded a little more for the good of the environment, Drake has a lot of luxury right here on the ground to keep himself entertained. He's busy building a sprawling Los Angeles estate in Hidden Hills, a luxe neighborhood home to celebrities like the Kardashians that he calls the YOLO estate. Drake paid $7.7 .7 million for a part of the estate in 2012 and later bought a connecting property for $4.5 million. Known as his party palace, the estate takes up over six acres and features a 25-seat theater, a game room, a spa splash, massage room, and a huge wine cellar. But lately he switched his focus to something even more impressive, his $100 million mansion in Toronto. The Toronto estate is really something else. First of all, it's located in Bridal Path, in an area referred to as Millionaire's Row, where Celine Dion and even Prince have had homes. It has an NBA regulation size indoor basketball court with a skylight, and the Ovo Owl overlooking gameplay. It's also got a bespoke concert grand piano, a metropolitan chandelier with more than 20,000 pieces of hand cut Swarovski crystal, and granite atmospheric lighting that shines over the indoor pool. Black granite is used a lot throughout the home. It's even what makes up the one of a kind and incredibly heavy bathtub. There's also a massive lounge featuring some of the rapper's favorite collectibles, as well as a recording studio a 3,200 square foot master bedroom suite and 1,100 square feet of covered terraces so he can enjoy the cool Toronto winters. The rapper's even got himself a high-tech singing toilet with neon lights that he's shown off on Instagram almost as much as he's shown off his new airplane. Because Drake is an incredibly successful artist, he's also got an entire awards room where he keeps his biggest accolades, including his four Grammys. And since he's a huge sports fan, this room is right next to a hallway devoted to his impressive collection of sports jerseys. 
So yes, Drake has an incredibly luxurious lifestyle both on the ground and in the air. But as one of the most successful acts in hip-hop today, it's fair to say he's earned it. With his private plane at the ready to help him conquer the world, his next tour is bound to be even more epic than his previous ones combined. As for getting to see it yourself, you might be able to spot the baby blue wings flying over Los Angeles or Toronto, but without knowing the rapper personally, a glimpse of it soaring through the clouds is probably as close as we'll get to really experiencing what it's like to fly in a palace in the sky. Would you like the chance to fly Air Drake? If you had your own private jet, what would you name it? Let us know in the comments section down below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the richest for more luxurious lifestyles. Thanks for watching and see you next time.